A very good evening to you and thank you for joining us on Y254. My name is Patricia Murioki. Tonight we're talking about the Kenya film industry and what we'll try to focus on is the milestones that have been made in the industry. We'll try to look at our challenges and to be very specific uh, in terms of what are some of the challenges that the upcoming talents in the film industry are facing, what opportunities are there for them and how can they be able to acquire or probably where can they be able to assess those opportunities. We also try to look at in terms of when we look at our film industry, how much has the uh, female or how has the, the woman been represented in terms of opportunities, in terms of um, in what capacity are our women also playing in the film industry? Talk to us across our social media platforms. That is at Y254. You can also reach me at Patricia Murioki. And uh, let me do an introduction of my guest. We have Collins Motunga, who is a producer, a director, and an actor uh, under Stewards Productions. We also have Daisy Nabuyaya, who is an actress and producer under the Stewards Production. Welcome for, and thank you for the finding the time to be here with us uh, tonight. Um, as we start off, our, our film industry, we can say, is really growing because we have seen, in this year alone, we've seen three films on Netflix, which is a big step for us. Uh, yeah, wow, I missed one. Uh, four films on Netflix, which is a big step because we've always talked about putting ourselves out there in the, as people say, put, putting ourselves in the map. And we know with Netflix, there is a sense there are many people who get to watch at that. But before we really dive to our discussion for the night and the things that we we're talking about, uh, starting with you, Daisy, what is your take? What is your opinion? On how would you rate our industry at the moment? Uh -huh. okay. Thank you so much, Patricia. You're welcome. Uh, so, in terms of rating, mm -hmm. I will give it uh, a six. Mm -hmm. That is from a four mm -hmm. that I had earlier mm -hmm. when I came to the show. Okay, what's <laughs> it? Between <laughs> the journey from your house to the studio. Okay, that change, mm -hmm. um, that change came from uh, 46, mm -hmm. which is uh, on uh, Netflix, which yes. will be premiering on Netflix on the 20th. Yeah. And I just found out on my way here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that is the fourth one. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, as a, it's a wide, it's a wide scale, mm -hmm. you know, and it's growing. Mm -hmm. So that is the thing, you know, that is why we as filmmakers, we as actresses and actors mm -hmm. are supposed to push further mm -hmm. for, for more growth. Mm -hmm. You know, it is there for everybody. Okay. You know, people, people feel, feel like the movie is not, the industry is not growing. Mm -hmm. The industry is stagnant. Mm -hmm. But then at the end of the day, we as actors mm -hmm. know that it is growing mm -hmm. and there is uh, space for everybody mm -hmm. in the industry. Okay. And uh, looking at Netflix coming to Kenya, mm -hmm. that was one hell of a move. Yeah, true. You know? And uh, looking at the first premiere on Netflix, that was um, Pocha. Yeah. You know, when Pocha premiered on Netflix, that was one great move, you know, because mm -hmm. I know Brian O'Golland is my friend and I was like, oh my God, you know, this guy is doing great. Mm -hmm. So I am also headed somewhere, mm -hmm. you know. And... Uh, Young artists, you know, for young artists, they want to make it once. Mm -hmm. You know, it, they don't want to grow slowly as others grow. Mm -hmm. They just want to come in the industry. You know, I'm an actor. I'm from um, from from four, mm -hmm. and I just want to jump to be famous. Wow. You know, they don't know what what makes an actress or what makes a, an actor good. Okay, and, uh, let me cut you short on that uh, because there's, I, I would like us to det in details look at um, the young, uh, the, the upcoming talents. But before we get to that, uh, um, Collins, as a producer and as a director, what how would you say, looking at, let's not even take five years, three years comparing to 2020, how is our film industry and what are some of the milestones that you have been able to see as a producer and as a director? Uh, thank you so much for having me. Uh, as a director, speaking from the director's point of view, in the film industry we have grown, you see, I've seen growth and uh, we have so many people out there mm -hmm. trying to tell the story of Kenyans mm -hmm. from a Kenyan's p perspective. Okay. Uh, most of our producers out there right now are, are not, uh, they do not fear telling our stories. Mm -hmm. We are open right mm -hmm. now, guys are open. Mm -hmm. The way we write our stories mm -hmm. is different from how it was uh, a few years ago when 
we did not have our own producers from this land. People were coming to mm -hmm. to the industry mm -hmm. and uh, giving you money to do a film, mm -hmm. but a certain kind of way they dictate to they you how uh -huh. how they want the film done. Mm -hmm. And you know, the only person that can, that can tell your story is, is yourself. yourself because you know it better. Yes. Okay. Someone seated from uh, outside mm -hmm. cannot tell your story mm -hmm. the way it should. Mm -hmm. They'll see things that think maybe it's funny to them. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's uh, it g it'll get them some clout. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it does not cut to the audience. That was it, it created a disconnect between mm -hmm. the audience, mm -hmm. our local audience, mm -hmm. and uh, the content that we are producing. Okay, because. You know, a film is more than uh, it's more than what you're telling to the audience. Mm -hmm. It serves as a as a a good purpose to good characters mm -hmm. and a good story. Okay. Now, when your audience sees a story that they they do not uh, relate to one on one, mm -hmm. you lose them. Okay. Uh, so when we talk about. Uh, the good things that uh, we've been able to achieve as a film industry we also have the challenges and we know there's literally nothing in life that does not have uh, challenges but uh, my first question would go to you daisy as a woman uh do you feel that uh the female or the women who are interested have opportunities that they want and i would refer this to just the other day, I think in 2019, that is when we've seen more women even get nominated for the Oscars, uh, especially on the director's uh, roles. So how do you think our industry is doing when we now talk about women? Okay, uh -huh. thank you so much. When it comes to women in, uh, in the industry, mm -hmm. there is a very long way to go. Mm -hmm. We have a long way to go mm -hmm. in that, uh, especially in the production part, mm -hmm. that is the production, the producer, the director, we have very few females. Mm -hmm. I only know a handful, maybe mm -hmm. like three, four. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes to the actors and actresses, mm -hmm. women are coming up strong. Yeah. You know, women are coming up strong. People look up, in Kenya, people look up to Brenda Wairimo, mm -hmm. uh, Kate, mm -hmm. uh, Kate, the actress, yeah. and so many others. Mm -hmm. But then we have a milestone to jump mm -hmm. when it comes to production. Mm -hmm. So, and if you look worldwide, it has taken some time to build these, to build a notion that women can also do do it good mm -hmm. and do it very, very mm -hmm. good. Okay. So it is. It will take long. It will take long. Like maybe five years to come. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of us, like mm -hmm. Daisy, will mm -hmm. be a very known, you know, director. director. And director. And, uh, <laughs> I look forward to that, mm -hmm. but then it has it has been a journey, mm -hmm. and uh, it's good that I have mentors like mm -hmm. Collins here, mm -hmm. and I have uh, other mentors mm -hmm. that are pushing me, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's unfortunate or fortunate that they're men, mm -hmm. but they're they're still pushing me to mm -hmm. do to do good. Okay, yeah, uh, I think it doesn't. Uh, the most important thing I think with mentorship, a topic that I'm very passionate about is as long as a person is impacting your life. It doesn't uh, matter if it's a man or a woman. Yeah. So, Collins, for you as a producer and a director, you're now the person who will sit down and feel this is the character that I want. You are involved, I'm sure, with casting. How would you say, um, when you have in auditions, what probably would you say is a one thing that you feel people coming up into this industry should work on? What is that one thing that you feel is missing? and that can make someone a really great actor or actress, but they, they do not have it? Uh, I would say first, mm -hmm. uh, priority. Mm -hmm. To most of our actors, mm -hmm. myself included, mm -hmm. uh, you'll get a job, you land one job, mm -hmm. and then you start... Uh, you relax. You relax and uh, get into the stardom. Mm -hmm. F and you start forgetting about uh, what it is that you do. Mm -hmm. You have to improve yourself every other day. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only way that we can do that mm -hmm. is by doing a lot of uh, practice mm -hmm. on monologues, on uh, different... Because most of the time uh, you find an actor mm -hmm. is also a writer. Mm -hmm. Give yourself the challenge to continue upping your game mm -hmm. in characters that you'll create. Mm -hmm and deliver mono monologues. Okay. Yeah, attend uh, their seminars mm -hmm. and workshops mm -hmm. all around the city. Mm -hmm. 
for actors mm -hmm. engage a acting coach mm -hmm. they'll help you okay. a lot that will uh, make the difference between an actor mm -hmm. and a good actor okay uh, i don't know my director if uh, the what if uh, trailer is ready we could probably uh, play that and get to talk about um, the film all roads lead to castle stadium as a president wow well, what that's creativity i think what? on another level <laughs> yes. i yeah i <laughs> i checked that and let me first uh, start by asking you this, Daisy, taking up this role, because, okay, it gave me the vibe of Quantico. I don't know why, but it gave me Priyanka Chopra. So what would you say, like, as you were going through this, what stands out for you in that film? Uh, whatever stands out for me in the film is mm -hmm. the production. Mm -hmm. Like, the cinematography is so good, yes. and uh, you can feel it. Mm -hmm. and it's a different storyline, mm -hmm. something that is so different from the Kenyan, you know, what we are used to in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And that is something that caught my eye. Like, mm -hmm. we are talking about terrorism for the first time. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is good. This is it. This is what we want. These stories are supposed to be told to Kenyan. Yeah, people. because we find that most of the times, like, all these movies that we've uh, seen about terrorism, they will even refer to our own. There's literally yeah. no uh, um, production company that has mm -hmm. ever taken and wanted to really do that. So for you, Collins, um, what, as you are taking up this role and taking up this character, what is the one thing that you really had to do best here for you to really um, give quality, not only good work, but also making sure that this could be a stepping stone for you to get into bigger and greater opportunities? Uh, when I got the call mm -hmm. that I'd landed the, the, the role, mm -hmm. And uh, I was briefed by the writer mm -hmm. about the character mm -hmm. and what he what what he wants. Mm -hmm. uh, first, I was a bit scared uh -huh. because it's quite a huge, huge, huge role, mm -hmm. and uh, it's sensitive to most of or some mm -hmm. of us who have been affected by terrorism in one way or another mm -hmm. so i took it personally mm -hmm. to be able to 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 to, to give it out and uh, and leave the character best the best i could mm -hmm. then again the production crew mm -hmm. were, were amazing people first i got shocked when we met pre-production mm -hmm. and uh, the average age was I think my age, everyone is, is in their 20s, mm -hmm. mid 20s, mm -hmm. and they are, we, everyone is so passionate about film mm -hmm. that you want to, to do more. It, 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 it gives everyone the, 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 the push to do more. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, luckily, we had worked, I had worked with some of the people in the production mm -hmm. in a, a film they did in Kenya Film School. Mm -hmm. Uh, which has given a huge, huge platform for young guys. Okay. Uh, it, it, it has taught young guys how to do quality film mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and how to tell our stories without fear. Okay. And uh, make sure that you know a film is a film. Mm -hmm. It does not show. It does not represent reality, but it amplifies it. Okay. It will show you that this is what guys are facing. It's here. Mm -hmm. When you not when you do not talk about it, mm -hmm. who will? Okay. Uh, yeah. When we talk about nurturing talents and when we think about people who are watching us tonight and they would really, they have passions. I have attended a, a film workshop by Glide Lakes Production, probably you might have heard of them. And the numbers, people literally show up and they are very passionate about it and they do, they do presentations there and you really look at people and you're like, wow if only I think more would be done. So before we get to like what the government and in terms of sponsorship, Daisy, I saw you speak about how you've had experiences where you've gone to set and you're told, be natural. And that triggered me because I'm like, when I look at Viola Davis, who happens to be your role model when it comes to acting, 
you ask yourself, the way Viola Davis behaves in most of her movies, that is not who she is. Like when you see her in an interview, it's differently, it's a different person compared to the person that you see in the movie. So how do you get to deal with such comments when someone, you show up and you do your best and you're told, be natural? Okay. Uh, in the first days mm -hmm. when, I, when, I, when I was told that I am not natural in acting, mm -hmm. and uh, when, during auditions, mm -hmm. I used to be like, my goodness, then I'm not an actress. Mm -hmm. Then I'm supposed to leave this role and just move on with, my, with other things, maybe mm -hmm. be a writer mm -hmm. or a producer or something else uh -huh. other than acting. Mm -hmm. But then I come forth and my, and my, you know, and my director tells me mm -hmm. that uh, Daisy, you are a very good actress. Mm -hmm. Can you go watch Viola Davis? Can you go and watch Taraj, Taraj B. Henson? Mm -hmm. As, is that how they talk naturally? Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm like, no, that is not how they talk naturally. They are actresses. Mm -hmm. So whatever I'm doing is just the right thing. Mm -hmm. so until I, I landed a role in Rwanda, mm -hmm. that is when I was like, my God. OK, so in Kenya, this is natural acting. Uh, this is not natural acting. But mm -hmm. in Rwanda, this is way, mm -hmm. this is very good acting. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm a good actress. Mm -hmm. But so I went to figure out what is natural acting mm -hmm. and what is stage acting. Mm -hmm. You know, there is this. Um, Phoenix, the, the Phoenix way of uh, of speaking, mm -hmm. you know, it is mostly in uh, high schools. Mm -hmm. That is what they don't term as natural acting. Mm -hmm. You know, if you watch the drama festivals yeah. mostly. Then if you go to theatre mm -hmm. and uh, stage acting, there is also that stage acting mm -hmm. that mostly is coming to natural acting, mm -hmm. but you will you'll feel some sense of stage. Mm -hmm. Then there is this Kenyan version of natural acting where I'm just talking to you, mm -hmm. like, hi, Pat, mm -hmm. how are you doing? I think that is what they mean when they say act natural acting. Because at the end of the day, you look at someone's acting, mm -hmm. and you look at the reviews of that production, mm -hmm. and you, you see that this production, the, the production is good, but the acting is terrible. Okay. You know? So there is that. I, I truly don't understand what Kenyans mean when they say yeah. you we need natural acting okay. on something. Uh -huh. But you at least you've been able to figure it and you've heard from someone who has told you it is the right way. Because one thing with life, you'll always find people with different opinions. Yeah. So yeah. Collins, uh, when we talk about support that the government has done, we've seen the Kenya Film Classification Board, even like when um, COVID started, they came out with... Uh, uh, the way you're supposed to produce a film uh, using your phone, tell, I think, tell uh, your Kenyan story. And they're continuing to do more and um, bring up, up opportunities for the young people. But when we talk about sponsorship, do you think that there is really impact? And at what point should these sponsors come and the day that you're launching? Or would you appreciate them if they came and brought finances as the progress or the process is starting of creating the film? Uh, it's fi financing these projects is uh, hectic mm -hmm. in Kenya. It's uh, nearly impossible. Mm -hmm. if I can use that term mm -hmm. because you'll go, you'll approach uh, someone who can fund your project. Mm -hmm. You have the script, you have uh, a good outline, a pitch, you mm -hmm. go and sell to them the idea. Then they'll look at you and ask you, my friend, mm -hmm. easy, nini, easy. Mm -hmm. Sarakasi, that mm -hmm. is what they call them. We mm -hmm. cannot fund Sarakasi because mm -hmm. they do not understand mm -hmm. that this is an industry that is employs people mm -hmm. once. A lot of people, that is one. It, uh, it, it gives many people, actually, it, when you go to these sets, you'll find more than 30 people depending mm -hmm. on it mm -hmm. and then it's a business okay. this is show business mm -hmm. it will have returns mm -hmm. any day okay. when you put in good money you get you get good reward from it mm -hmm. but now these lenders mm -hmm. who we, we depend on to give us money these uh, sponsors mm -hmm. are uh, not really comfortable with us mm -hmm. which is i do not blame them fully mm -hmm. but uh it's an attitude that's it's in kenyan. kenyans because we look at this industry as sarakasi mm -hmm. 
<laughs> we look at it as jokes. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there was a friend of mine who once told me he wanted to go and study film. Mm -hmm. When when he went to his parents to tell him that, tell them that um, dad nataka kusoma hiki tu. Mm -hmm. The dad looked at him and asked them, my friend, you are becoming, you, you are growing. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that then is really bad. It's a, it's an attitude problem, mm -hmm. but we can, I believe, with time mm -hmm. and the way the, the 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 way we are going right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. in Netflix coming in, the, the Kenya Film Classic. Commission mm -hmm. has, is really working by they are, they are creating creative hubs around the the country mm -hmm. everywhere in here is this okay. one this one in embu i think this one in kakamega mm -hmm. they want to go at least have one in each county okay uh what would be your final comments tonight for someone who is watching us and they want to be a director or an actress or an actor or in whatever role it is that they are aspiring to be in the film industry what is your advice to them uh, my advice to them is that uh, First, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Nothing is easy in anything you do. You have to to put in work, mm -hmm. put in a lot of effort, mm -hmm. research, study, make connections with people. There's this notion that uh, when you get on set, when you get to, to, to a set, you are, you are the superstar of the day. You don't want to talk to people. You want mm -hmm. to, to bounce all over and... Uh, those connections, the, the, the people that you have in, the, in that set will connect you to higher, higher places. Mm -hmm. The place where you want to go, mm -hmm. we, you'll reach there through the connection that you have with the people that you are with in that sitting. Okay. Yes. Uh, Daisy, as you wind up, how can we change the attitude that is already there in the industry to make it a more accommodative industry for every person who dreams or has passion to be part of it? Uh, okay, uh, to begin, mm -hmm. we have a notion that there are only 10 actors in Kenya, mm -hmm. that is one. Mm -hmm. I always see it every time mm -hmm. a few faces appear in, s in certain movies. Mm -hmm. And that is a very bad notion and that creates the attitude. Mm -hmm. You know, so many people are like, are, are these the only uh, actors in Kenya? Mm -hmm. You know, what is wrong? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then I would like to tell them that there are so many actors in Kenya, there are so many productions in Kenya, there are so many directors in Kenya, people who are working tirelessly every day to make these programs and to make these uh, productions come to the people. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is also this notion that the Kenyan, Kenyans don't know how to act. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you cannot judge all actors based on a few yeah, that you have, that, mm -hmm. that are known. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have so many people. We have also seen uh, What If, mm -hmm. the trailer, and we have seen that Collins is a very good actor. Yes, how and he is that? not known yet. Yes, just you know, <laughs> time. So it is a matter of um, taking that attitude and placing it with faith. You know, you, yeah, you, you keep the attitude. Yeah, by the way, by all means, mm -hmm. keep it. Mm -hmm. It is us to prove you wrong. Okay. It is not you to prove us right or whatever. It is us to prove you wrong. Mm -hmm. It is up to us to work tirelessly and ensure that the Kenyan movie industry is moving a step further. Mm -hmm. You know, I looked at the reviews on uh, Sincerely Daisy. Mm -hmm. It just premiered on Netflix yeah. the other day. And uh, we, it, it created a whole hula baloo. You mm -hmm. know, it was... Mm -hmm. A mixed, you know, a mixture of reactions. Yeah. Some felt it was nice. Some yeah, felt, felt it was really bad. Mm -hmm. You know, terrible acting, good production, mm -hmm. uh, terrible casting, good cinematography. You mm -hmm. know, there was that mix. But that is that is the way we want. Yeah. You know, we want that conversation. Yeah. So that we're able to move. Yeah. With that conversation, we will we will know. Okay. We okay. Well, this is where we did. This is what we did wrong. This is what we did right. So this is what we're supposed to change. This is what is supposed to go. You know, and I was so happy with sincerely, sincerely Daisy, where it brought in new actors. Mm -hmm. You know, that, because that is what I want as a okay. Kenyan actress. Mm -hmm. As an, you know, I, I will not call myself a coming because I've done a few films here and there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is what we want. Uh -huh. Then uh, we we also saw Pocha, who mm -hmm. has new faces mm -hmm. at least. You know, there, it's also on Netflix. We have also seen, um, okay, Disconnect has uh, 
or it already has celebs in yeah. it, but we have seen these movies take a step. We have seen the journey that okay. is coming. And okay. trust you me, Kenyans, we are coming, and it is going to be huge, and it's going to be big, and it, our dream is the Oscars. Oh. Amen. Okay, wow. 30 seconds to say uh, something to a young lady, a young girl watching you tonight. 30 seconds, what message do you have for them? 30 seconds to just say something. Mm -hmm. uh, just act. Mm -hmm. Just act. Mm -hmm. Be you, just act. Mm -hmm. Le don't listen to naysayers, just do your thing. Mm -hmm. Somebody's always watching. Wow. Uh, thank you very much for finding the time to be here with us. We didn't have as much time as you'd have wanted but we can always schedule for another interview for the viewers back at home i hope that you've learned something and as daisy has said no matter whatever it is that you may be going through when you have a passion and when you have your dream the only thing that is supposed to stop you is when you get there so until you get there keep on moving someone is watching you thank you very much my name is patricia Moriyoki. do have yourselves a very good night